Speaking of my verge, did you hear Joe Elvis' mama is headed down to Lexington from Indiana in her 1961 Orange Beetle for one of her once in a while visits to her son? Oh, it's going to be rough. Last time she done came, she going to miss something awful. Yeah, and that is only the half of it. She has a most adverse effect on Joe Elvis. Last time she rounding about, Joe Elvis more nervous than a hen pecking by a foxhole. Gee, anyway, hopefully she'll be in a better mood than previous occasion. You can hope if you want, but I sorrowfully doubt it will. Two days later in Joe Elvis's motel room. Why didn't you tell me you was coming, Mama? Just like the last time you arrived out of the blue. I sure did, Sonny. I called last week to tell you, but I had to leave the message with your fellow Will, since you was off on one of your business trips. Who is she, Sonny? Nah, nothing like that, Mama. I was out shopping for sound equipment we needs us. Blame that fool Will for certain forgot to tell you my visit. But anyway, it ain't so bad to show up unexpected. You knows when folk expect company, they done spiffy up the house with spit and shine. So the company never sees how the house actually look on a ordinary, just regular little old day. So, Mama, how to... Everything around here looked to you. I was just getting to that. You realize, Sonny, I just hate to poke my nose in other folk business. And I loathe the sound criticizing. But it behooves a person to be honest with law and otherwise. And as much as I hate, I just got to tell you it is one thing to be country, but another's to be a seedy, shoddy old sleazy. You're sure right on that there, Mama. For instance, Will's still running around in that tattered Cincinnati baseball cap of his. Tell you, you got to brighten up your boys, including yourself, Sonny. Take a look at Verge. Appears he been polishing them boots of his with sandpaper. Got him a hole in the left sole to boot. Shirts and pants of all of you should go straight to some laundry. I will talk to the boys and take some action. Promise. And I'm also thinking on them songs you boys is doing. That Peoria fella, whoever he is, done been sending you. Why are you playing that stuff? Say, in a song that Peoria, he talked too much. I suggest you go back to the golden oldies of country, Sonny. How about Camp Town Races or one of my favorites? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. And don't go forget a song like Lonesome Prairie. I think you mean Lone Prairie, don't you, Mama? Well, forget that, Sonny. Do I go on and I'm correcting you? But I got to say, in all due honesty, when I attended your rehearsal yesterday, my, it looked like a bus stop around here. People coming and going just as they please. I tell you, Sonny, you got to tighten up your schedule around here. You knows what I always claim. A tiny match can turn out to be a forest fire. Two of your boys wanders in sorrowfully late. Then, way before quitting time, that there orb cuts out and leaves without one excuse. I tells you why he got to take it on the lamb. I bet he got him some widow gal ready and eager. You got to run you a much tighter ship, boy. I see Joe Elvis is on his way. <laughs> Me oh my. Looks like he's got a bad case for himself. 
His nose just about scraping on the sidewalk. He's muttering some to himself. Now I got myself busted. Man, his mom must have really worked the poor boy the over. The loop L in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Again, me. Now look at boys, I've been thinking, we got to start running us a tighter ship. Ain't your mom talking, Joe Elvis? No, not at all, I tell you. Fact, mama said everything looked hunky-dory here, but I've been thinking on myself and I think it's time a few things get changed around here. Like what, for instance? Elvis. Well, it's one thing to look country, but another to appear seedy and slovenly. Like, take that baseball cap of yours, Will. All greasy and sweaty along the rim. Either sweat or all that grease you use to slicker your hair. And all your boots, except orbs, why they all scraped and scuffed to blazes. That exactly why I went out this morning and bought me this new shiny pair. See you guys. It's about time someone around here done make a good example of little old Lord. <laughs> Yours truly. I was glad Joe Elvis finally gave me the pat on the back I surely deserves. Just look at them shiny exemplary boots I done towed me. Ain't I always nudging the rest of you no accounts? We got to appear sharp. Gee willikers, Joe Elvis. That's all well and good on discussing. We all purchase us some nice new gear. But man, that costs a healthy piece of change for all new duds. Where am I going to give me that kind of bread to cover it? Well, I'll tell you what, boys. You go out and buy you them new boots, and when we make it big with cash rolling in, I'll cover you at that time. No. <laughs> oh, and there's one other thing, you guys. It behooves me to mention, no matter how much y'all knows, I hate to criticize. Oh, oh man. Stop yeah. your huffing and puffing. Even though Mama hardly noticed, we way too loose at our rehearsals. From now on, like religion, we is going to meet twice a week, no exceptions, for two five-hour sessions, Monday and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Afternoon, sees. That's what no five hours, that's six hours. Oh, well, heck, who running this outfit, Joe Elvis? You or your mom? <laughs> Shoot, don't be silly on yourself, Verge. What my mom got to do with anything? She a nice enough old gal, but what guy gonna give a woman something never mind? Especially if and she don't knows a note of music. Why, hell, <laughs> when my start to go on and on, I can all but hardly hold back Gail's a laugh about it. <laughs> Stealing at the boxcars.